I'm Brandon, and I'm gonna go in the woods. Check out the shirt. I'm trying to make a clean getaway of Gabby's truck. <laughs> we, we stole it the other day, and he's not gonna make the Discovery Route 7 trip. Uh, so I'm gonna fill in for him. We're gonna have a good time. It's still got Canadian mud crickets in it. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna go by his uh, his restaurant in Roanoke and grab the burgers. We're having a potluck. Tell me a better combination with the shoots beer and these burgers. Tell me a better combination. It does, there's not one. We are in Camp Creek, West Virginia. We were here for I think it was MSX three. I can't remember the first one of last year actually. And we're back and it feels like it's going to be exactly the same weather as we had last year at this time and we're expecting a lot of rain tomorrow so it's going to get really interesting but we'll walk you around and show you and introduce you to the rigs and the people and stuff like that on the trip here before too long so we have got bacon wrapped jalapeno poppers you just had to core the peppers cut them in half core them and then we put cream cheese inside and wrapped them up with a bunch of bacon so I'm Angela, and this I'm, is Eric. I'm Eric. <laughs> We're from Northern Virginia, just outside of uh, Warrington. Uh, I'm into civil engineering. Yeah, there you go. Once you feel it start flipping like that, just give more gas. Yeah, that was just a crash don't go back. I work for a child advocacy nonprofit and grew up with a dad who was extremely interested in taking us traveling all across the country and national parks and so forth. So we got all to see all kinds of cool stuff uh, growing up. And so that interest has continued as a grown up. Oh, wow. That's really good. Big day tomorrow. Four wheel drive straight out of the gates. Nothing's going to put you in a situation where, um, you know, that, of course, I don't want to say that now, but nothing's going to put yourself in a situation where you're going to regret anything that you do because it's all controlled and safe. Yeah, so uh, Jason Grog from Haymarket, Virginia, and I'm driving a 2017 uh, Toyota Land Cruiser 200 Series. So I work for a large uh, systems integrator uh, for the federal government do a lot in the IT space. Keep going, your, your sliders are definitely on this rock right now. Back it up, back it up. I mean, I, I guess I could trace it back all the way to 2005 when I picked up a Wrangler TJ and uh, uh, would go out do my thing on uh, various trails and kind of say you know what I, I gotta get my truck home we are winching here on our first obstacle of the day this is pretty exciting we got a heavy truck back here we got a 200 series Land Cruiser with a turtleback trailer so on three we're gonna, I'm gonna winch and you're just gonna give it, give it some good gas one two three go So what I'm going to have to have you do is just back up and just approach this thing one more time. All right, now I want you to hit it hard with momentum and speed. Let me get out of your way first. All right, 10-4, let's give it gas and go. I don't know. Just hold that. Just hold there. The Land Cruiser um, grenaded a CV, passenger right. side CV, right at the front diff. So, uh, never seen that before, but it happens. So is he dead in the water? What can he do? Get towed back. <laughs> it's a full-time four-wheel drive vehicle. It's spinning. Here's the piece that came off. So 
somebody said, what's the worst thing that's ever happened on one of your trips? Yeah. I think we have one now. This. I'm Jason, I'm from Baltimore, and I'm driving a F-150. We were looking to get off the grid a little bit and uh, got, got deep into YouTube one night, and that's how we discovered overlanding. So we figured we'd give it a try. So how long have you been doing this overlanding thing? And what kind of- uh, For one day, so far. We can't get over that rock. Am I catching it? Am I hiding it? I don't want to do any damage to your truck. I don't have skids or nothing. There you go. Yeah, he's touching. Yeah. So you're going to drag a little bit. This is the, the trail kicked our butts. We um, have traveled this section of road five times in the last five years. We pretty much do it like once a year. And uh, we blew a CV joint in the Land Cruiser pulling the Turtleback trailer. Um, and spent quite a bit of time setting up winch and uh, recovering that vehicle and um, attempted to, there's, there is a cow in the middle of the road. What else could happen today? It messed up the day, technically, but you know, we got in the car and we're like, what were our goals? Spend time together, we're doing that. Get away from work, be out in the wilderness, we're doing that. You know, meet some people who love to do what we're doing. Yeah. We're doing that. Good, Basil. I'm gonna help you, all right? What do you want, sauce or um, barbecue I don't sauce? I wanna eat, I just wanna sit. You just wanna sit where? In my bed. <laughs> okay, <laughs> whatever. Okay. And drink water! <laughs> Dude, you train these kids right. We're gonna make a yes. fire. You know what I'm trying to make? Yes, I am. Good. This is day two. We are in and around RD Bailey Lake, which is a beautiful recreation area um, down around Justice, West Virginia. Uh, the team clicks. It's like clockwork every time after the first day on the road. I think we, we kind of need a good, smooth, fun day to kind of reset. So if you just joined us, we got this, this hairpin turn to make to go up there. So we're getting people turned around. We just want to be generally in this path right here. Got it. Which leaves you a whole opportunity. And that's going to put you anywhere from here to over here, which is perfect. Yeah.
All right, we thought we'd take you for a ride and to come up our last hill climb here on day two of this fun run in Southern West Virginia. Okay, we're stuck. We're gonna have to winch. Um, I need your help. We need to get a winch hooked up. He's gonna earn his beer tonight. Don't yeah. worry, I'll do this for you when you come up. <laughs> <laughs> So what you're going to want to do is once you start coming up, just start hugging this left side. Or to see how dry it is over here. Very good. Now start making your way up. Start a little bit. There you go. Very good. How's our excitement level going? I wanted to make it so bad. I thought I had a line, but oh well. This should be fun. Yeah, we're going to make it, babe. <laughs> So you guys have a vehicle that's that's pretty much the same. He made it that high. You think you could do better than that? We're making it all the way. We're going all the way. <laughs> no question. <laughs> There's no doubt. <laughs> we are uh, Steve and Teresa Cram from Nashville, Tennessee. And uh, got seven kids, one left at home, graduating next month. Woohoo! Pretty exciting time for us, yeah. <laughs> I'm actually a college dropout, yeah. <laughs> but uh, I was raised in a very entrepreneurial family. Uh, both my mother and father own their own businesses. We drive a, a Ford Raptor, and it's not your traditional kind of overlanding vehicle. Uh, I think it's got a lot of advantages. Super comfortable, lots of power, lots of space to, for storage. But it's wider longer wheelbase, so that it kind of poses some challenges. PMA. That's right. Positive middle attitude. We're doing it. There's no give up. Go big or go home. That's right. That was epic. I said, I think I just lost a little bit of my pants on that one. Done, son. Like giving me chills here. Yeah, that was awesome. I mean, to see a raptor out here doing this stuff. Oh, God. We're uh, Bob and Mary. We're from Long Island, New York. I'm uh, driving a 2011 Jeep Wrangler. I've been wheeling now for about 10 years, uh, on and off prior to that also. Uh, Mary enjoys camping, so we were able to combine uh, two of our uh, uh, most favorite hobbies of wheeling and, uh, and camping. Everybody sort of pulled together and we all went and watched and were cheering everybody on 
and then people were using some of their equipment and some of Overland's equipment. Steve was like giddy all day. Oh, that climb, that one climb where we, it was so fun and everybody just was having a ball. Can I just say this is like the most <laughs> gourmet thing ever. She's rolling up meats here. There's grapes, Prosciutto. grapes for crying out loud. We have multiple cheeses. Gotta have a little cheese board. Got some honeycomb to put on there. Honeycomb? Mm-hmm. Want the crostini? Yep, oh, crostini's oh, like it too. <laughs> Charcuterie board with crostini. Oh man, you're like all fancy pants over there. What, no Stilton? <laughs> mm. I absolutely cannot attend a party without Stilton. Mm. We're gonna have some Stilton. Stilton. <laughs> we got some grouper and Todd that we're about to throw in the scottle. Everybody worked hard for this today, I think, right? That's right. <laughs> so, you got it. You, you got to figure it out. You the main. Or a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. 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 And the kids that work for me one day goes. How did you find your way around before GPS? All right. MAP. What are you cooking up over here? Uh, elk tenderloin. Is this the elk steak? Make sure it's the right one coming in the right Homie. Man. My dude. I'm about to throw that on a taco. Yeah. How is that, This Brandon? is actually the first time I've ever had elk. Oh, and that delicious. is beautiful. Prime rib rub. That's what he uses on the elk. They call gasoline. Did you see me uh, do board shorts and um, flip flops running in a chainsaw in Vermont? No. I did I did, th I did that. <laughs> I did that. I did that. It's true. Yes. I watch those videos and I'm like, why don't they have hats on? <laughs> why don't they have safety goggles on? That's right, yeah. Avis Rentals. They do safari rentals in all their trucks. They got Rangers, they got Hiluxes, and all of their trucks are equipped with that camper. The Alu cab? Uh -huh. Good morning. Headed home today. Say it ain't true. I'm a people person, so it was fun to meet people from different places who have this common interest and get to, to know them a little bit and build that kind of bonding. But it's interesting because I really don't know that much personally about each person, but we have this bond and everybody just gets along and is very comfortable and it's just kind of this one group. I'm not the same person I used to be after a weekend of overlanding. I uh, just wired it on. <laughs> little, little, uh, what do you call it? shade tree mechanican. You know, it was probably the, <clears throat> the things I'll remember the most were some of the climbs, but uh, sitting around the campfire chatting, learning about each, everybody and their backgrounds and experiences and what them got, what got them into, into this whole overlanding community. Probably one of the big things that I'll take away. Just great people, um, good times. I mean, the people that come on these trips are, wanting to know more about overlanding, wanting to know more about adventures in their area and wanting to learn more about these areas that, you know, are welcoming adventure travelers from all over. So, um, pretty awesome stuff. And to be here on an overlook this morning, kind of wrapping things up and spending some time with the team and just kind of taking it in just feels real good. You there. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> I had to do it. I had to do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.